Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here, say hello to everyone Narlo. Good boy, when last we left off we were inside the Chamber of Leadership here. We were talking to Broger and we were talking to uh, Bori. Broger over here had sent us on a mission. We were to go into the chamber of Mazarbul, which is in the north hallway. We've been out the southern hallway several times. He wants us to go out the northern hallway into the chamber of Mazarbul, which is the chamber of records, and go and find War. War was one of the dwarves who was outside of Durin's door when we were trying to get into Moria here, and back when we were fighting the Watcher in the water. And he says that uh, War has had his group of dwarves in there helping to clean rubble out of that room. Trying to find something of any use inside the chamber of records there. Anything that could uh, give us information about what has been going on in Moria during this time. So that is what we are going to do. But first, we are going to go right over here and talk to the healer. And see about uh, doing a little inventory maintenance. And once we get that once out of the way, once trade between the dwarves of Moria and the elves. Once we get that out of the way, we will rejoin you here. We have returned from doing our inventory maintenance here, just to show you that. You may have seen it as we first started out. We do have a quest available popping up. Hobnanigans is going on this weekend. Yeah, that's the wonderful chicken ball game held over there in the Festival Grounds of Bree. We'll go ahead and accept it and get the uh, Hobnanigans map, which will take us back to the Festival Grounds over there at the Bree Fields. So we'll have that out and have that out of our way here in case we want to run it. Now, like I said, we were going to run from... We were right down here at the uh, 21st Hall, the South Arch, right outside the Chamber of uh, chamber Leadership, and we're just going to go straight across the hall over here to the north side, back up to Durin's Way, and head toward the Chamber of Records. So let us mount back up here right quick. And there you see the Chamber of Command right over yonder. Right down there is the South Arch. That's where we have been coming and going and fighting things down there in Zellum Melek. So we are just going to head to the north now. And straight, oh, right over there is the Western Arch that we first came in. That's where, that's the one that leads to that windy road that leads all the way back to the Chamber of the Crossroads. But we are going to head north now. And say, is it nighttime? Yes, it is. Let's turn our light on. Let's use it while we got it, right? Okay, as you see, we're coming through the North Arch. Straight on up this way. And right over here should be the Great Doors. That should be the Chamber of Records, the Chamber of Mazarbul, right on in through there. You have discovered the Chamber of Mazarbul. All right, and there is War. So we are going to uh, sit in our little, uh, whoa, look at all those arches all the way up to the ceiling. We are going to uh, do our little space right here where we put in the, put in the uh, panoramic view and read what the lore description has to say about it. And we will return to talk to War here in just a moment. The Chamber of Mazarbul. It is likely that the Chamber of Mazarbul once served some great purpose in the old days of Moria, yet now it has left the tomb of Balan, son of Fundan and friend to old Bilbo, who not so many years ago led an expedition much like the current one to retake Moria and restore it to the glories of old. Alas, that his efforts came to ruin so final that none ever returned to their homes to tell the tale of it, and only now has the truth been learned. All 
All right, we are back in the chamber again now. As you see the great doors behind us, we have war in front of us. Let's take just a moment to look about it, shall we? Love the stylized mountains there with the clouds. Very nice. Said they did a great job designing Moria. See all the various records going up to the ceiling, held in all these arched entry, arched, uh, arched niches and alcoves in the walls there. We have a room with a bunch of dwarf skeletons in it. That doesn't look very promising. And that does not look very promising whatsoever. Something really, really horrible happened inside this room. Of course, as you come up, as you read in our description, you come up and you've got a tomb here. Balan, son of Fundin. Here lies Balan, son of Fundin, Lord of Moria. It may say something besides that. I can't remember exactly. Can't remember exactly what the inscription said. But many, many dead dwarves lying about. And the whole back half, the whole eastern side of the chamber collapsed there. Let's talk to War and see what his uh, dwarf team cleaning this chamber out has uh, discovered of the horrible events that happened within. Something collapsed the roof of this chamber. I know not what. There you are, Narlo. I have some work for you if you don't mind getting your hands dirty. This place was called the Chamber of Mazarbur because it once stored important records of its day. At some point during the long years that Moria stood empty, the ceiling seems to have collapsed. As you can see, the whole room has been filled with rubble and debris. We're trying to search through the debris for anything interesting we can help. We can find. Help my dwarves with this task and bring me anything noteworthy. Okay. Let's start looking through piles of debris. Which, uh... Okay, good. I don't see any body parts in there, so... I was afraid it was going to be a corpse to tell. You find a damaged book. Alright. Bring the book to Broger. That we can do. The book of Marzarbul. If it were not for the prospect of finding Mithria, I would not have come here. War flips through the damaged pages of the book and turns as white as a sheet. You should bring this to Broger at once, Narlo. This, this is not good. All right, we will do that now. We will head back out to Broger and bring him the Book of Mazarbul and see what he has to say about it. Those of you who've read the books and those of you who have seen the movies, of course, know what happened there at the. Uh, the Chamber of Mazarbul, the Chamber of Records, where Balan's tomb was placed. When he fell as his very short period as the Lord of Moria. But uh, we will go down here and give the book to Broger. And see whether or not, uh, see what he has to tell us about what happened there. Mr. Broger, sir, I have uh, this damaged book to hand to you. I cannot bear to read this book. Broger takes the book from you and flips gingerly through some of the brittle pages. His breath catches as comprehension begins to dawn on him. This is the book of Mazarbul, and it seems to contain a record of Balin's settlement. It is grim reading, Narlo. If you would be so good as to bring it to my cousin Bozy, he will want to see it. He has always had more of a stomach than I for records such as this. I do not want to read of their horrific end. It is enough to me to know that they are dead. Bozy is still in the chamber crossroads in Durin's Way, north of the Great Delving. So now bring the book to Bozy back in the chamber of crossroads. That is where we will head now. So we are going to mount up and head back out the western arch and down through the winding passage. So we will see you when we return and when 
we find out what Boozy has to say about the fate of Balin's expedition. We are coming back to the crossroads now. And we are gonna cross on across to the chamber where Bori sits within. Past the well of Pippin, the fool of a took. Okay. There we are. Let us talk to Bozy. Show him the book that we've taken from the Chamber of Records. And hear what he has to say about the ta sad tale of Balin's company. This looks to be grim reading. But I will do so from the beginning. What have you brought me, my friend? Bozy leaves through the book, and a look of deep sadness settles on his features as he comes to understand what the brittle pages are saying. This is a record of Balin's expedition and tales of their unhappy end. At least we now know what befell our kin in Moria, Black Pit indeed, or so it would seem in my grief. I will read it from the beginning, but in the meantime I will have your help with another matter so that I may devote my attention to this. The dwarves of my expedition are getting restless. Chapter 4 A Grudge Against Goblins One of my dwarves, a miner by the name of Swena, has taken upon himself to attack the goblins of the Silvertine Loads. He has the strength of limb to match his headstrong nature, but there are too many goblins in that place for even him to conquer alone. Wait, do not leave for Gamophilic just yet, for that is not where my dwarf is gone. Swena believes that the goblins have a home in the waterworks, and I have heard him vow to follow the mining tracks that run through the Silvertine Loads down to the flooded deeps themselves. Look for the southernmost tracks on your map. You will find Swena searching there for goblins. I will continue to read from the book of Mazarbul Ganarlo, but you must journey to the southernmost reach of the Silvertine Loads to dissuade Swena from his foolhardy mission. I do not doubt that he will slay many goblins, but he will not know when to retreat. You must find him and rescue him from his own folly. So we must go and find Swena. And Swena, he said, will be in the Silvertine Loads, which are going to be south of the Great Delving here. And he says Swena had determined to follow the tracks all the way to the south, down here to where you enter into the waterworks down to the next level down of the uh, of the mines of Moria here so that is what we are gonna gonna do we are gonna mount up head on over cross the great delving and pass the Dolvin view and head to the silver team loads so once we get back into the mining area we will once again rejoin you We have passed the deep descent and retraveled back down here into the Silvertine Loads. You'll see here we are at the very northern edge, right up there at the very northern part of the map, heading over there toward where that upper left campfire is, and then we're going to follow the tracks on down. One of the things that we'll probably do along the way is the lighting the pit. Remember we had this uh, quest over here to light up the torches along the way, along the trail so that dwarves would have an easier time of coming down into the silver teen loads and finding their way through the darkness here. So if we find any sort of uh, any sort of torches along the way, that is what we will do. As you see, leveling up, going to level 60 has turned a lot of things. We were able to ride all the way back from uh, the Chamber of Crossroads to the Dolvin view and everything was gray to us. None of the Moria soldiers or anything attacked us. And he knows everything here has gone from light blue to green. So that we have reached the level cap now as far as Moria is concerned. This is where we would have uh, 
stopped leveling whenever the whenever the uh, expansion here first came out. And I see a ring off to our right. Ah, uh, that is Sori. That is not Swena. That is Sori. Let's go up and have a word with him. See what he has to say. Apparently has a mission for us. We have seen naught of Durin's Bane. Be wary if you journey into Moria. Luminous Goop. I wonder if that Luminous Goop is a uh, perhaps a cousin of Augustus Goop. Let's see. Well, as you can see, the shaft just near me is utterly infested with those vile glowworms. Perhaps you can do me a good deed and smash the ugly crawlers. And while you're at it, collect some of the luminous goop that gives them their eerie glow. I believe I can fashion some of that goo into a torch of sorts, which will light the way for me in this accursed dark. Okay. Yeah, when we come back, we will see if we can collect some of the luminous goop for you. But for right now, we are on a mission. Heading further south. As you see here, we are just following. We're just right on along there. Taking the diagonal path further into the Silver Teen Maloods. Surprised we've not come across any mines. Oh, that's light lamps across the winding path. I wonder if that's the one that goes to the north. Don't know. Might be the one that goes down toward the pit. Down toward, uh, what was the name? Melem Barrage? Perhaps? Is this Swaina ahead of us? This is Swaina. As I said, back in back in the days when I first played in Moria, this right here was the uh, first dwarf you came across. Because none of those others up there really existed. You, you had some of the quests, but they were for people... I think they were given to you from people that were still in the deep descent. You didn't have that little encampment of dwarves. But Swaina, Swaina has been here for a long time, marking the entrance to the waterworks level. Let's talk to him right quick. I'm not sure Casa Doom can be restored. The orcs have surely ruined it. And I see a defend Swaina, so why don't we zoom on out, because we are fixing to fight. Bozy wants me to return to the chamber of the crossroads. I cannot do that now, Narlo. There are goblin necks to hew. Come, fight by my side. Let us fight together, my friend. Uh, there's some of Folek's servants. Remember Folek? He was the... The goblin overseer who we killed whenever we discovered the, the forges of fire, wasn't he? I think we've definitely got his attention of the, his servants there. There we go, more Folix folk there. Let's see how many of those I can get the attention of. Make sure I got both of them on me. I have to try and protect Swaina here as much as possible. But I doubt this fight will go on for very long. There we go. You have defended Swaina from the goblins. Thank you, my friend. Return to Lord Bozy and tell him that these goblins have long memories. Alright, that's all we need to do is go talk to Bozy. Okay, then. But yeah, we reached here, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there you go. You see the, the winding path there that leads up the side. And it will take you right on up. Hmm, another door. It will take you right on up the hill there through that cavern you see that will take you on into the waterworks and yes this was all once again pitch freaking black here back in the day you couldn't see any of this stuff so once again we've kind of lost a little bit of the lost a little bit of the the atmosphere that made moria such a such a dark and and horrible place Pretty much moving from one dark spot to another through the gloom and, and moving from from wherever you could see, wherever you would see the 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 uh, crystal lanterns, crystal lamps, and the 
And let's go over here and kill a couple of these deep glow worms, shall we? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to kill a few of these. You'd move from one crystal lamp to another in the darkness, looking for routes to travel on through. I'm going to collect some goop, and then I'll take it back to Mr. Sori over there. And I will see you again in just a few. I've got to say, this is an awful lot of glue worms they have along this path there. Awful lot of glue worms. I think we have discovered what they did. Oh, there's that platform we were trying to get to earlier, too. This is how you get to it. Okay. It's up this path. I think they have discovered... Look at all these glue worms around here. I think we've discovered what they did with all the mobs that they moved off the main path. They shoved them all over here. That looks like that ought to be... These ought to be ore deposits. I think those must... I think those were like Kazad... Kazad tin back in the day. Back when you still had to collect the Kazad tin and the Kazad copper. They look awfully suspicious. All right, Mr. Sorry, here's your pocket full of goop. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. Ah, lovely. Well, perhaps not lovely, but you know what I mean. I can smear this goop on anything, and it will provide a light for me as I wander in the dark. You have probably saved me from many a false step, Narlo. <laughs> okay. I am glad we could do that. Let us mount up. We are going to head back up to the north. You see here, we were all the way down here. This dead end, there's where we found Swaina. Here's where Sori is. And we're going to take it all the way back up. Head back through the north. Back into the Great Delving. So we will see you when we achieve the Chamber of the Crossroads. And talk to Bozy once more. So we will see you up there. I have once again changed my mind. As you see here, we can see a brazier of some sort, a lamp lit here. So this must be the winding path that leads down there into, what is it, Manem Barrage. We are going to head on down there and light these torches along the way. So we can go back here and talk to, I think, Thalfar again. And get this quest out of the way. Let's go down and light this lamp. There's the first one. Alright. And we will... Stealth up, because we're not really looking for a... Combat mission here. We're just looking to light these lanterns along the way. So as we see them, we will light them. And once we get them all lit... I will return up there to Thalfer. Once again, as usual, I make a plan. And the game sets out to... Much like, uh, much like it did with, with Balin. He had a plan. They had a plan to come and to retake Moria. And Moria had other ideas. I had a plan to travel back to the crossroads and go back to uh, talking to Bosi. And Moria had other ideas. Okay. Well, we are going to follow the path further down into the pit. Because there was something I wanted to show you while we were there also. Ah, I wonder if we would have seen, yeah, we came down to the right. If we had come down from the left up there, there's some more lamps. So let's head on back this way. See, we have more down there. There we go. Yeah, we should have come down this winding path, perhaps. Yep. And I forgot that the guard can see me. Although apparently he can't get off that rock. <laughs> I 
<laughs> are we going to lose him? I think we are. I think we are totally going to lose him because he couldn't get off that rock back there. We still haven't ran into any more of the lanterns. Where are we at now? We're on the far other side. Yeah, we're on the far south side there. Hmm. Well, let's keep looking for lamps. Perhaps we needed to wander up that way. Let's go and see. This is not much of a... It's a very confusing winding path. I'm understanding why they want... Why he wants it lit up so that they can actually find their way along it. That's for sure. So we've reached a path we cannot follow any further. But we do know there are more lanterns. More of the lamps. So we are going to keep looking for them. Oh, I forgot to hit safe ball. Yep, y'all will get to laugh at me again. I forgot to, to push the safe ball button there as we went. Let's try back this way. We learned turning right there doesn't help. So let's try back up this way. And see if we can find some more lamps to light there. There's the one we last did. Yeah, there we go. This is the path we should have came down. Instead of circling around the various... Circling around the, the pit there, we should have came this direction around the pit. And I think there's still a couple down in the hole. Yeah, up this way now? Yep. There we go. hide again. Almost halfway. The more you sneak. Yep, there you go. See, we hid straight and went that way when we should have turned here and went down here following the path of the lamps. Which we will follow this time since we already partly know how to get there. Once again, As I've complained about some other games, or mentioned about some other games, and this one as well, that instructions are not always the most clear in any of these games. You'll get things like, follow the windy path, where there's only about 12 of them that head down this way, you know. Let's follow the lamps this time, and we will take them further down into the actual mine pit itself there as you see and it does seem to go all the way on down doesn't it and i think we can stay unhid this time let's see what this path is here the way of smiths yep we're gonna come back there not that we have much choice since we have to come back this way anyhow Three more lamps. Continue on down. Boom. Going to go right on down into the bottom of the pit. Remember, this is where this particular hole here. If you remember our our. Uh, reading of the lore of Menemberej. This was the main mine where they got most of the most of the mithril out of Moria. And as you see, it goes way, way, way down there. Bottomless from our viewpoint, and I am not wanting to jump down there and see if it does have a bottom. But yes, I'm going to bring this, as you see here. This is the Forgotten Treasury. This is one of the dungeons slash raids here in the game. So that's why we have a campfire, as you see. Why we have a campfire on the map in this location it is because you had the mustering horn and all. And this is where you can go in and do the Forgotten Treasury instance. 
we are going to travel on back up about one more level and come up here to the Way of Smiths. And take a look at it. Because it should have a rather familiar... A rather familiar look to it here as we travel on down it we've entered the great delving no longer is it full of grebig it is now got um, dwarf guardians along the path which is good because you may remember this doorway here although it seems like the dwarves have removed the actual door Bunch of miners and guards everywhere. And we have entered into the Heart of Fire. Remember when he said, if you have the skill, you may come and use it. And he did mean it, for each one of these has a forge. Now that the now that the Heart of Fire has been taken again, you see Waffy over there. And Strothko. And each one of these things can actually be used as a forge, if I remember correctly. We, however, do not have the skill to actually forge anything. I cannot thank you enough for helping Lord Bozy find these forges. <laughs> okay, well, we are going to travel on out. Back out into the Way of Smiths. Way of Smiths is actually a shortcut of sorts. Because as you see, we come into it over there that direction to the right which I believe is going to be uh, east west we came in that way okay that is to the west that's the silver teen loads mine of the silver teen at the far end of the passage here is another door which takes us to the red horn loads so this is kind of a shortcut to get down to the Red Horn Ludes. And I'll just see you where we come out at. Right here. Do you see we are in the Red Horn Ludes? We are right there. And if I back out, you'll see the Red Horn Ludes are over here. So to get there normally, we would either have to come in either from the 21st Hall or Zelen Melek and either travel all the way down here and come through the Red Horn Loads, or we would have had to travel this way, gone through Nude Melek and came in through the Red Horn Loads that direction. And instead, we can just come into the Silver Team right there, and that passage takes us right through. So we get to skip, we're in the Great Delving, we get to skip through several, skip past several areas that are just absolutely loaded with uh, orcs and goblins and various evil, evil beasts in order to get here. So let's go back into the way. We're gonna take the way of Smiths back over to the Silver Team and then ride back up to the camp and talk to Thalfer and tell him we have lit the pit and we'll see you whenever we re-arrive there. Made our way back out of the dark pit of Menembrej. Back over here at the camp. Let us talk to Thalfer. Hello, Thalfer. <laughs> yes, there are many more orcs than you anticipate. I am not sure Khazadum can be restored. The orcs have surely ruined it. Thank you, Narlo. The lights will be a great boon to our efforts in the Silver Team Loads. Indeed. Okay. So now back to Bozy. We will mount up, cross back through the Great Delving, and back up to the north, to the Chamber of the Crossroads. And we will rejoin with you whenever we are back in the Chamber. We are returning back to the Crossroads. Go just north of it, back over to talk to Bozy. See how much of the Book of Mazarbul that he has read. And what he can tell us 
of the fate of Balan's expedition here. There we are. <laughs> Dwarves of my company have gone to work the forges of Narkaleb, and joyous work it is. Yes, it is. I've seen them. They seem quite happy. Thank you for saving Swena from the goblins and from himself. You found Swena. I am glad, for he is strong of arm and valiant. We will have need of him for many days to come. I hope he does not get himself into trouble before then. I have read more of the Book of Mazarbul. I am worried that the account in the Book of Mazarbul might happen again. Chapter 5, Words of Caution It is worse than I expected, Narlo. Balin's final lot was grim. I have not yet read all, but there is much here we should take as a warning. They were greatly outnumbered, but seemed not to know this until it was too late. Return to the Chamber of Leadership off the 21st Hall in Zelem Melek, and tell my cousin Broger to be more cautious. I am worried that if we do not take lessons from Balin's expedition, we may be doomed to his fate. Perhaps I am overreacting. Indeed, I hope that is the case. Regardless, bring my warning to Broger as quickly as you may. That we shall do, and as quickly as we may will be the next episode. Because I think we have pretty much... Pretty much uh, reached the time limit here, or something close. So next time, we will travel on over to Broger in the 21st Hall. The Chamber of Leadership right off the southern edge of the hall. And we will bring him words of warning from both Bozy and from the past in Balin's expedition. So we will see you then. Thanks for coming along with us here. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>